Right now we're going to talk about turning points, how they're achieved and what happens once a turning point is achieved. Let's start with how turning points are achieved. During the initiative round, you're going to be rolling your ratio dies and your trait dies to determine initiative. Every time you do that, you're going to take the value of your ratio die and you're going to mark that on your turning point counter. Now that cred coin is going to come from the crowd pile. So you'll draw a coin from the crowd pile and let's say I rolled a two, I place that in the two slot on my turning point counter. If there's already a coin there, that's a turning point roll duplicate and we'll cover that in a different video. But if that two happens to be the last number I need to complete all the numbers on my turning point counter, then I've achieved what's called a turning point. Once a turning point is achieved, several different things can happen. The first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna look to see if there's any actions or any instructions that need to be executed from a previous turning point or other narrative event. You may have a turning point card that says, do this until the next turning point, or an influence card that says, this happens until the next turning point. So you're gonna resolve all those actions first. Next, you're gonna resolve any actions that are to do with your barge hazards in regards to the turning point. Some of your barge hazards may say things like, on the next turning point, do this, or do this until the next turning point. So you're gonna resolve all of those actions next. Once all of those actions have been resolved, now it's time for you to draw your turning point card. And this is gonna be the player who initiated the turning point on their command round. So, I'm gonna draw my turning point card. My turning point card is gonna have a narrative event with instructions and actions. Now this may apply to me, this may apply to my opponents, this may apply to everyone at the table. Now it's the time to execute those actions on that turning point card. If a turning point card does involve me as well as other Lannisters at the table, you're gonna start with the person who initiated the turning point, and then you're gonna go in initiative order around the table and affect the other Lannisters that are affected by that card. Lastly, you're gonna have what's called the turning point damage bonus. This is a plus six damage modifier that's gonna be applied to your helot's next successful attack. Now, once your helot lands that successful attack, you can then pick up all these coins and place them into your cred pile. But until that helot lands the successful attack, these coins stay right where they are. And any ratio die rolls that you have during the later initiative rounds are going to trigger those turning point duplicates that we talked about earlier. Once all this is done, if your helot is still alive, you can then spend the rest of your command points on actions and movements and conclude your command round.